Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Finca. Yes, uh, it's another beautiful day. It is going to be a scorcher later yes. on, so we need to get cracking this morning. It's forecast to be hot again. Yeah. It's relentless this year. It is, but yeah. um, we shouldn't yeah. complain. I'm going to get this window finished, pointed up, done in this video for sure. Yes. And, and I'm on with those beams, um, yeah, psyching myself up. <laughs> I gotta find some covering for my shoulders, put my hat on, put my goggles on, put my mask on and get some acid out and um, try and clean them up. I'm not looking forward to it because some of them are in a real state, um, but it has to be done. So that's me yeah. and at least I'll be working inside and of course it's a lot cooler cool. inside. Cool. Yeah. So shall we get on with Let's it? Let's crack on. Here we go then, mix is ready. Um, see what we can do with this, get this cleaned up a bit. Um, I'm gonna start underneath first um, I forgot to show you the other day it's coming along so I'll show you that and then we'll start sticking some mortar in it I've got a box of stones down here for any gaps and my sprayer of course to wet it all down there's where we are so far with the underneath um, not looking too bad actually just a couple of holes to fill so that's where I'm going to start We're off. My favourite job in the whole world. Not. Done that bit. So, so far so good. It seems to be coming off quite easily. I'd love to be able to get all of this off, but I tried, if you remember on a previous video, with the, the little pickaxe. And the more of this I'm taking off, the bigger gap it's leaving. And that's obviously why they've done it, to close in the gap from the beam from the ceiling. So I'm just going to leave it. It is what it is. It's authentic. It's 150 years old. <laughs> okay. So I'll carry on. Right, oh, so um, all the insides are done, apart from the, the bottom bit, the ledge whatever it's called um, I'll do that later because I'm about to drop stuff on it and I want to keep it clean with this cardboard um, but yeah it's looking all right I'm gonna start up here now and just, just start to work my way down and okay I've got this top bit so done, sides are done, top of there is done, brilliant. Um, I'm out of mix, I'm not doing another one now because the sun's on its way. By the time I've mixed it and by the time I start, it's a slow process pointing. Um, the sun will be on it, it won't be good for it. So I'm going to see what I can do inside. Right, so that's the first beam almost done, just got a little bit this end to do. It's working, it is amazing stuff, I said it before, Agua Fuerte. Um, it's not very pleasant to work with, but my goodness, it does the trick, and you can see the difference already. This one's not been done yet, and this one has, and this one, to be honest, was the worst out of all of them. So, really pleased. Yeah, so, I'll carry on. See if I can make someone's life a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to scrape off the biggest bits of these that go along. Never easy working above your head. 
never pleasant. It's coming now. It's coming. Hopefully one coat of Agua Fuerte will take it all off when we get the bulk of it off. Right, so I'm in the little passageway and on top of this thing here <laughs> we just found a lot more rubble, a lot more stuff. There's um, a little basket of thing. Looks like a, a bird's nest in the corner. <laughs> Some rubble. No idea what that is. And what all these bits are. But, oh dear. I'm not doing a very good job with this, am I? Um, it needs to go. We thought we got all the rubbish out, but not. Uh, there's nothing worth keeping anyway. No hidden treasures or souvenirs, just rubbish. Uh -oh. We lived in a house like that. There's definitely an egg in it as well. How mad's that? Let me see that. Little egg. Doesn't feel very heavy. Two eggs, actually, three eggs. Well, no sign of any bird. Must have been evicted years ago. Well before our time, I think. There we And um, I don't know how many left to go. I don't want to even think about it. Um, but I've had enough for today. Um, I'm boiling hot, and this is not the most comfortable contraption in the world to wear. So I'm going to go and have a nice cold beer now and pick it up tomorrow. But it's okay, they're coming on all right. It's starting to dry out again, um, and it does dry out patchy. But the main thing is that when they were wet, they were beautiful which means that once they're oiled it will be as if they are wet and it should cover a multitude of sins so uh, happy days i made a start i was dreading it but once you get into it you kind of get momentum going just a quickie to remind you chris and lillian tales from the cave side have got their video out on wednesday the 23rd um, seven o'clock same time as ours and um, for those of you that are interested on in seeing their little tour that they did on Sunday when they came to visit. I went a bit late this morning I had a few things that we needed to tend to it's not all renovation. <laughs> <I see>. <laughs> <laughs> Riser up. Um, Sharon's got to carry on with the beams it's too late um, for me to carry on without Sam because the sun's already coming round um, but there's plenty of other things to do. Oh yes. <laughs> Right, let's crack on. Let's get on with it. I don't know if you can even see that. <laughs> We've got this big mess over the opening here that needs sorting out. You can see it a bit better there, above where we repositioned the lintels. Um, it's all messy, it all needs neatening up. Um, this, I'm in the passageway by the way. And this bit over here. Plus this pillar also needs a complete rebuild like we did on the other side. Um, so yeah, there's plenty to be getting on with. I think I'm going to start at the top here though and um, try and sort this mess out because it is a mess. It's really difficult to get the camera in here but there's a lot of loose stuff I'm just going to chip off, cut my way back to the solid edge. I took a lot of it off with the old air hammer before but there's still some bits. We can blend it in. And as for me, not very exciting for you to watch guys, but just more of the same. Spray it on. Scrub it off. So that's as clean as I can get it. Um, I'm backing this whole wall out. Kind of think 
like a bit of a losing battle really. Um, I could probably just vacuum the whole house away uh, if these big ones would actually fit into the vacuum cleaner. Um, but it's as good as we can get it for now. Um, so I'm going to get this top done and then we'll come back to this at a later date. Right, so I've given this wall a proper soaking through. Um, it's so dry and dusty, that should help it all to stick. Um, I'm going to do a mix now and um, see if we can get some of these holes filled in. Well, I'm so pleased to have taken that blooming visor off. It's a necessary evil, but it doesn't half make you sweat. Um, I'm up to here, so halfway. I've got the other half to do, which hopefully I'll get a good start on that tomorrow because I don't have any shopping to do or any washing or anything like that tomorrow, which of course most days I do. So yeah, um, very pleased. Um, going to have a nice cold beer now. Right, oh, and I've run out of mix, but I've got most of this done. It actually looks really weird when you walk in now because something's finished. Um, we're rebuilding slowly. Right, so I'm a bit early this morning. Can I get this window done? Um, it's looking very nice actually, if I do say so myself. Um, first off, I'm going to finish the insides here. Finish this sill off ledge, whatever it is. Um, and then, because I need to clean this frame up, so that'll be dry first, so I can get that done. And then we'll get all these bits filled in. I've got so much to do inside. Um, I really want to get this done. So I uh, shall carry on. Here we go. So far so good, we've got all this left hand side done, half the right hand side, um, just this bit underneath and there. I should hopefully have time to do another mix, um, so we'll give it a whirl. Well, we've run out. <laughs> Just a little bit to do at the bottom here. Not much at all. Half a mix, maybe. Um, but I can't do one now because the sun is already here. So, um, I'll have to go and find something else to do. It'll definitely be finished before the end of this video, though. The insides are drying off alright. So, I'll be able to get this frame cleaned up, get this lintel cleaned up. Uh, we're getting there. Right, so back inside, out of the heat, into the cool. Sharon's cracking on with the beans. I need to move this light out of the way because we don't want to get any um, Agua Fuerte on it. Agua Fuerte is hydrochloric acid by the way. Um, there's a screw in the back that I can't get to. So, But I think now I can safely take these acros out. This has all gone off plenty. So um, we'll start with this one. Get them out of the way. It says, there we go. Ah, nothing's fallen down yet. <laughs> Right, I'll get the others gone. So I'm just going to take this light out of the way. It needs to go over there anyway. And then I'll put the little one in. But we need, also need to decide if I can get the screw. <laughs> oh man. Come on. There it is. Right, I'll get him disconnected, cap off the wires, and um, need a different screwdriver, and I'm back to the workshop, get this out of the way. Right, well, that's out of the way. Actually, even with this light switched off, I suspected it might, but I've just tested our whole electrical system. It tripped the RCD um, with the switch turned off and no power to this at all, um, which is great news, a bit of an inconvenience, but great news. We know it's safe. So, right, I'll get the bracket out of the way then and we'll carry on. 
On with the beans again. Nearly there. As we get further back, they're not so bad. The very end one's quite messy, but um, these are not too bad, so some of them just a wipe. And uh, yeah, so carry on. slowly getting the room cleared um, of everything we don't want in it because obviously we want to the ceiling is next um, I think as Sharon's coming down cleaning these beams I need to start preparing each one of the vaults um, for well, when you toil the beams and then um, line wash the actual vaulted bits themselves obviously that's the first thing to do because whatever we do on the ceiling is going to come down we're going to drop stuff and we don't want to be dropping it on anything we've done nice below the height of the ceiling. So, starting right at the top, um, we've got these grass things that they wrapped around, plastic grass it's like, that they wrapped around these to tie them together to make it easier to plaster them originally. Some of them are broken, um, I'm going to see if I can stick them back up. There's quite a few, few on this side as well. Um, I'm just going to try a blob of super glue on them. Once they're in, they're in, that's it, they're left. These will all be cleaned up as well um, with the with the acid to make them all nice and clean. And all this edge will be when we do the walls, that'll all be filled in as well. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I've actually got one more nail left up here where the the peaks are peeled, or the peel is hanging. So that's it. Probably going to hang them up on the wall next to the the oven when they when it's all done. That will quite look quite smart. But um, we're a long way off that yet. A lot of these, I can get in here, where the cables run down, these need to be making good in the ceiling before they can line wash it. And I also need, you can see over there, I'll just spin it around a bit, my shower it is. <laughs> um, this wire here needs to be channeled into the wall and I'll spin you around again um, I need to make a hole big enough to put a junction box in there and then put a switch in here so I'm going to fire up the compressor get the air hammer out that should be the last of the hammering and the mess I know I've said this before um, to get them bits finished off and then we can continue rebuilding and I've just found another nail in the wall <laughs> really and right so the junction box will already fit in there I want to put, I'm going to put the switch for the the cave light, I think, somewhere around here. So I need a square cutting out for him and a channel the same. We'll just go for about here. Hopefully we can find a bit between the stones or find small stones. Cool, our back box for the switch will go in there, channel for the wire, that's all done. Just the one for the light over there. Right, so we decided we're going to put the light on the wall um, with them facing down onto the worktop. So we'll just need a little channel down to about here. Um, this shouldn't be too difficult. Pretty much how it's going to go. Um, I think that looks alright. And then we've got enough, enough slot there now. 
have to take this mask off. That was a horrendous dust explosion that was. Um, he'll go in there like that. Tasty. Oh, the mess he's made. Whew. Okay, it's time to get this window finished. It's, uh, it's getting warmer again. It's going to be 40 degrees again today. <laughs> Lovely. Um, just in response to some of the comments. Um, don't get me wrong, 95% of the comments, we feel the love and thank you so much for them. Um, but we, we get the odd comments from people, you should do this, you're too slow. Um, you know, blah, de, blah, suggesting this, 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 whatever. We didn't actually start out in this life um, to be under stress to kill ourselves. We enjoy what we do, we've got no deadlines, we don't want to put ourselves under any stress or anything to get anything finished at a particular time. What we've done, we love, um, we've got a nice place we can enjoy. Everything we do now um, is a bonus. Um, so we want to enjoy the whole process as well. You know, and not kill ourselves or make ourselves a little worry about should we do this, should we do that, whatever, whatever. Um, I mean, the biggest stress I've got at the moment, I sit over there having my coffee, um, I see this little dent in the corner of the wall. That really bugs me. Um, so I'm going to fix that as well today and that will be the end of my stress for today. Um, so on that note, I'm going to carry on and get this finished. Don't get me wrong, we've both done the 14, 16 hour days in the past. It's not what we want, it's not what anyone should be doing. People should chill out and enjoy life a bit more. Um, we're very fortunate that we can do that. Just going to wet it all down as always and then get it finished. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to sitting over there having my coffee and looking at it finished without this didn't here. <laughs> okay. There we go, it's done. Um, yes, I'm still harping on. To, it's an old cliche, but it's about the journey, not the destination. Um, anyway, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Next thing I want to do is get all this frame cleaned off because I've made a mess on it, but it'll come off easily. And these two joists, um, they need oiling to match the others because they were buried or partially buried in this case. Um, and then get this lintel cleaned up, get some oil on the whole thing, and um, then we can carry on inside. I want to get this finished. So just before I crack on with those beams, should get those finished today, I'm just going to give Andy a hand here while I've got the Agua Fuerte and clean off this frame so I can get it oiled. There we go, lovely, all clean. I um, just need to let that dry now and it can have a coat of oil as can the opener and the little lintel and the two beams further up. Excellent. So I'm back in the kitchen, on with the beams. Um, definitely get these finished today. Um, just got the back side of this one to do and these two. Um, <laughs> and just to reiterate really what Andy's already said, um, friends of ours came to visit recently, uh, Ray and Maureen, if you're watching, hi guys, um, and Ray said, you know, of course we watch you on video and we don't realise you have to live your lives as well. Um, me particularly have housework to do, cleaning, cooking, washing, um, I have to do the shopping, it's a three hour trip, well, an hour there, an hour back, and then obviously an hour shopping. Things like that all come into the equation and so if we're a bit slow sometimes to so your liking, well, we have to live our lives as well and, you know, as Andy said, we've both been there, we've done the rat race and uh, we choose not to do that anymore, so that's why sometimes we have a lazy day and we think, you know what, it's too hot, we're going to stop right now and have a nice cold beer. Anyway, that's me, I'm going to crack on with these beams. Right, okay, so I've done the lintel, I've done the ends of the, the two joists, and um, I've just got to mask off this glass um, so I don't get oil on it. I'll try anyway. 
it does come off easy enough off the glass but it's always better if you don't get it on probably better off cutting this with scissors really but still there we go so I'm on the last one and it has to be the worst one doesn't it always the case and um, it's really covered in this horrible white stuff so uh, it's going to be a slow process I think but i um, pleased to be at the end um, at least I've got a little shelf to put my stuff on and I'm balancing precariously on the, the entrance to the, the cave but yes happy days we're nearly there I don't know if you can even see me at all. Oh, I've just opened the window. I'm just going to slap some linseed oil on this. Nice and easy now because it's all masked off. Right up to the edge. Nice and clean. And then we'll do the inside maybe later. We don't know yet. Sam doesn't spray me with hydrochloric acid. <laughs> yeah, I don't do. Right, okay, so I've done the outsides. I should make it all disappear. <laughs> um, the outside of that and the outside of the shutter um, that looks out. We'll have to leave it slightly ajar so it doesn't stick and we'll do the inside when that's all dry. At a later date, but for now, we've got all inside to do anyway. We've got all these beams to oil, so it's no loss to just do this at the same time. Excellent. I've actually managed to give this other bit of coat as well. The inside is rattling around a bit because I've got it on the catch open. But um, at least it's got one on it. Wonderful. And there we have it. The beams are clean. Um, it's not perfect edging on them, but that's not me. That's the plaster that's been put on the vaulted ceiling. Um, it'll be fine. We're not worried about it. The house is not perfect. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Well, what perfect end to a perfect week. Yes. Windows done, uh, beams are cleaned. Um, yeah, two big accomplishments there. Yeah. Um, which means that we can now crack on with the rest of it. Yes. Um, the ceiling. Well, that's <laughs> going to be just as bad, isn't it? Painting all that and oil in it and not getting the oil on the line and not getting the line back on the beams that yes. are just cleaned off, blah, 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 etc. But I think that's it for us again. Super hot again, it's approaching. I think it's supposed to come to 40 degrees Celsius. Yes a lot of Fahrenheit yeah. and well over a hundred um, so we're gonna have a nice cold we're beer we're gonna have a nice cold beer thank you so much for watching thanks to everyone as always that supported the channel we couldn't do it without you guys and we'll see you on the next one see you later